everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Te Atiawa First Nations people on whose traditional lands these videos are made. And welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. And I'm going to show you these two cards straight up before I actually start shuffling um, because what I was going to read on is the GOP internal polling. Uh, does Trump know he's going to lose? Is he giving up? Uh, and as I split the deck to start poker shuffling, we've got finding themselves morally, financially, ethically and simply out in the cold and walking away. So, going to start shuffling. Now, for those that hadn't caught up the latest news, fabulous news. Um, Granny's my mum, who I'm over here from Australia, I'm in New Zealand, sitting at the coffee table in an Airbnb while she goes through chemo treatment. Uh, she has stopped treatment, I think, about um, four, four or five weeks ago uh, uh, while they let uh, her blood recover her bloods recover her marrow recover because it's a it's a type of leukemia and all the markers from this afternoon's test came back fabulously so of course what they want to do is start knocking them around again on friday but no fabulous fabulous news uh so um we're really excited here so we know she can do it uh they want to knock them knock them out again starting on friday uh, and then we'll go through another recovery period by which time then I can hopefully take her home to her place and uh, get, her, get her settled back in there for however long it needs me to be. Okay, so what I'm going to have a look at, I'm using my Trip and Wait Tarot. So first of all, thank you to everybody who has sent love and blessings and light, etc. Work, it's doing... Didn't have a hope, did it? So really excited, this cat, really excited. Um, so, okay, the GOP internal polling. Um, so uh, I, I gather one of the senators, the Democratic senators, got the information and showed it. Mm, not looking so good after all, really, in compare, especially compared to the media polling. So I've uh, got less than two weeks to the election. Um, Trump uh, was doing a town hall rally at Oaks in Pennsylvania. Of course, he sort of times as 10, the, the crowd size. Um, so we had the Oaks at Pennsylvania occurring mere days after what happened in, uh, was it Conchilla in um, California? Oh, that changed a few people's minds. Not only were they standing in 100-degree heat, while he was sitting in his air conditioning getting his makeup done and two hours late, uh, when the rally was over, so people had to park about six miles away or something, and then they were bused to the location. Uh, they couldn't leave because there were no buses to take them back to their cars until the uh, rally was over. They then left at the end of the rally, and lo and behold, the buses didn't turn up. I wonder if the buses didn't get paid. So, yeah, there were some very unhappy people there at the, yep, they've had their eyes opened. They've had the sort of truth is drawn and they've had a collective awakening at Conchilla. So what happened at the Oaks in Pennsylvania? Apparently he came on stage again late, uh, which just shows absolute disrespect in my books. Uh, came on stage late, uh, answered a few questions, decided he didn't want to answer questions anymore, told the DJ to start the music and then apparently stood on the stage for 39 minutes and just swayed and did his usual weird fist thing um, yeah, uh, a lot of the music he wasn't authorised to use, so a lot of musical artists are really cheesed off. Um, I I just want to ask with this, because this is the day after this internal polling became public, does Trump know he's going to lose? Does he know he's going to lose? And is he giving up? So show me, show me the energies of Trump. Two weeks to go, show me the energies of Trump in regards to this internal polling. Won't do an interview. He's had plenty of opportunities from 60 Minutes and Fox, etc., but he refuses to do live interviews, that is. Like, it's not live, live, but I mean recorded uh, with the interviewer in the room. Okay, so show me. I'm going to do an energy spread here. Let's have a look. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. 
It's about money. Well, first of all, Knight of Pentacles is the mercenary who does this for the money. But the horse has stopped. The horse has just completely stopped. So the money's not coming in. Maybe the money's not going out either. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Um, he's doing these rallies for the money is what I'm getting. But I was really drawn to the cloak. I can't say I've ever taken any notice of it. My guides will draw me to particular aspects on the cards when I need to get a, get the message that they're trying to give me. And that's why I'm a visual reader. I don't go by rote. Yes, I do know the by rote meaning for this is the slow, dependable night, etc. It's also a mercenary. But I'm really drawn to the cloak that he's wearing. And it's got little marijuana flowers all over it. I think at the Pennsylvania, he was... I think they got the medication wrong. I'm just going to put it out there. I think they got the medication wrong. Here he is on the bottom sitting on his orange throne with the patches on his knees. Uh, he's only doing this for the money, but I don't think the money's coming in. Yeah, I think uh, Dr. What's his name? Dr. Jackson, is it? He might have got the uppers a bit mixed up. Uh, yeah, his second signifier, trying to sell the message is just chaotic. It's just becoming too heavy a load. He's still got a path to slog before he gets to the end there. But is he going to be able to make it before he drops the bundle completely, falls off the trolley, as the Poms would call it? Yeah, he's he's not doing well here. Okay, I'm trying to see what those symbols are on the shirt. I'm just they look like kidneys. Are they kidneys or are they or are they weird hearts? It's just too diff. It's a liver, liver issues. Okay, it's just all too difficult. Okay, what's going on behind the scenes at the moment? Squabbling, infighting, throwing under the bus, you name it. The usual GOP. Um, the second energy behind the scenes here is the apprentice working away to try and create the money. It's always all about money. Could also be money trails here, but I just I'm I'm feeling this is the infighting that's happening in the GOP due to the money not making it all the way to the bottom. Let's see where this goes. Hope that light's okay for you. Um, yeah, delusional, confusion, smoke and mirrors, um, dementia. It's also my dementia, but poor choices. And there's a harsh truth coming forward. So coming out of these energies, there's a really harsh truth coming here, coming forward for those that are down ticket is what I'm getting. Down ticket. There's a harsh truth coming for them. At the moment, it's just, I mean, they put him in charge. They voted for Lara Trump to be made head of the RNC. But there's this infighting at the moment that's just all, all over the place. Okay, the karma hanging over him at the moment, Knight of Cups, an offer being made to go away. Um, the GOP might try and yank him. There's an offer here for him to, uh, they may make an offer for him to actually go. Getting stabbed in the back constantly. Wow. Okay, the outcome, the hermit, the light being shone on the dark. There is something here that has not yet been revealed. Uh, trying to keep a lid on the emotions as well. Uh, here's my Janet Tutkin card. And she is going to, she's the independent woman that's going to bring it. And then we've got circles of celebration as Judge Chutkin brings this information forward. Wow. Okay. Crump. Oh, delusional as usual. There's some weighing up that needs to be done, some decisions that need to be made. We've got the sword of truth. We've got defending himself. 
what have we got here? The Four of Cups, not liking what's on offer, uh, trying to hang on for hang on for dear life. We've got Jack, we've got the whistleblowers, we've got Trump, we've got ending, we've got ending, 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 ending. I will. I keep. I keep saying I don't know that he's going to make it to the election in one piece. We've got two weeks to go. I think amongst the GOP there's some serious regret. It's not looking good. Okay, show me. Um, especially down ballot. Don't expect a huge blue wave in the Senate because I think, what is it, 33 seats are up but 22 of them or something are Democratic seats. And uh, so... There's a lot of Democratic seats up for grabs and they may lose a couple because they were in red areas uh, and the Democrats that had them were blue on the outside but red in the middle, but they might pick up a couple of others like uh, Texas and um, hold on to Montana and may even pick up some. I don't know if I have Ohio's in play or not. But I don't, I'm not expecting much change in the Senate until 2026. And boy, oh boy, then it's going to be the blue wave's going to come in the Senate. But in the House, oh, anybody's game. Okay, so does Trump know? Is Trump giving up? Show me. Is Trump, is Trump giving up with this latest lot of internal polling? Two weeks to go. Is he, oh gosh, a lot of headlines coming out really quickly. He's only, he's only in it for the grift. Is Trump, is Trump, I feel like staggering towards the finish line. Now, I am not a marathon runner. And I'm not a runner, full stop. I'm a walker. I'll walk. Walk anywhere, but run, no. But you see these races when they're getting, you know, they're a couple of kilometres out and they just really literally fall over the finish line and then just lie there. So show me with Trump. Is he giving up? Come on down, let's have a look. The world. The ending, bringing it is ending and like stepping through into a new beginning after a significant ending. But this is endings and new beginnings, challenged by some sort of contract and agreement. You make it over the line, and I'll step into your place with JD. Ooh, yuck. Inching forward with the chariot at the bottom there in the past. So I think that in the past there was a decision that needed to be made about uh, whether he get replaced or not. I have read that they were considering it, seriously, seriously considering it, but I think that decision's now in the past and they've got this decision that we will, we will get you over the finish line. We will get you, there's this, this agreement, we will get you over the finish line. Okay, crowning this reading, the Ace of Swords, sort of truth piercing through the crown, new strategy perhaps. See where this goes, the immediate future. The, this is, how many cards have we got out? One, two, three, four, five, six, and three of them are the twos, decisions that need to be made weighing up the decision about which ship to bring into harbour in the immediate future. Something unexpected happening externally, volatile information coming internally, the wheel of fortune, karma coming and biting them on the bum, literally having nothing left to harvest, the gilded cage, trying to keep a lid on the emotions, women celebrating, doesn't like the outcome, obviously, desperately trying to hold on. The grift, the headlines, what else is coming? The anxiety, 
And here is something being brought forward by Chutkin. I think it's, or just women, women bringing forth their vote. Women not voting for him. Okay, the light being shone on the darkness, the strength, the big stick. Trump himself going to face the harsh truth. His role as the king, it, it's, it's not going to end well. Okay, so there's no vascular event there. But what I'm really getting is that they've, there's some sort of agreement to get him over the finish line by hook or by crook, but they're still weighing up their options. They're weighing up their options. Okay, does Trump know he's going to lose? Does Trump Has Trump realised that he is going to lose? Has Trump realised he is going to lose? Has Trump realised? If you're a Trump supporter, this is not the channel for you. Don't even bother leaving a comment. Just totter off, and I love it how I've always got at least two thumbs down. Uh, so there's obviously a few of you that are supporting my channel by giving me a thumbs down. So, yeah, whatever. Okay, show me. Show me. Does Trump know he's going to lose? Does Trump know he's going to lose? Does Trump know he's going to lose? Does he finally realise? Is that why he just gave up in, in Oaks, Pennsylvania, told the DJ to put the music on and just stood there swaying? Very dementia-like. Well, we've got the abuse of power, the attempt to steal, so that's the plan, that women are going to come out against them. There's something women are, haven't yet revealed their hand, but the star, star of hope and healing is coming forth and she's blue and he ain't going to like it. There's the moon, the moon secrets coming to the surface and being revealed. Chuck him about his overseas transactions, that he's really anxious about. The sort of truth is coming forward about hidden agendas. And here's my DOJ card. It's bringing about an ending of contracts and money for him. Um, well, he's got a lot going on this next couple of weeks. I don't know that he's going, okay, show me what's Trump's health going to do over the next couple of weeks. What, two weeks, two weeks, is it two weeks, three weeks, two and a half weeks till the election? What's this? Well, we've got on the bottom there consultation in regards to his health. I'd say that's doctors behind the scenes discussing his health. Doc, yeah, perhaps secret doctor's visits or something. Show me his house over the next little while. Show me Trump's house. Weekend at Bernie's, definitely. Show me Trump's house over the next couple of weeks. Oh, a lot of anxiety about it. Yeah, holding on to secrets. Holding on to secrets against his health. He went nuts, apparently, on Untruth Social about... So Harris has released her health report, glowing report. He's gone nuts about it, saying how bad it was, yet he hasn't released his own. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety about his health. They're trying to keep the information about it secret. The Queen of Pentacles. There might be a nurse or someone or a female doctor that comes out and presents it. Yeah, Trying to keep things hidden in the past. Um, reaping what is so and not liking. Okay, thank you. Not liking the look of what is on display. Poor harvest. Okay. The immediate future, emotionally walking away. What a... A lot of hard work going on behind the scenes to try and keep him upright. There's some sort of contracts and agreements. I can hear my mum in the kitchen in the lolly bag. <laughs> Licorice all sorts, mum. Licorice all sorts. What? Are you having licorice all sorts? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm still reading. You can <laughs> munch away. 
Um, yeah, there's some sort of contract and a powerful contract and agreement. He is not well. No, uh, and down the voter. And it's literally running through his fingers. Then, then we have the attempt to steal. Then we have a lot of headlines coming out very quickly about his actions and an ending. So I am just going to say, here's my GOP card, trying to pack up and secretly move forward. Uh, there is information that's going to come out that they're going to have to try and defend from an independent medical source that's going to it's going to be volatile that's going to trap them in this in this medical truth volatile information but some sort of contract and agreement to get them across the line i'm just going to say that they're going to attempt to limp him across the line is what i'm getting there so there was no vascular card there. Shock horror. Wondering if it's coming around Michonne's time. Um, I don't know. There, there, there's just some sort of agreement to get him across the line for the election. It's almost like, okay, you hang in there for the next two weeks. We'll get you across the line and then we will get you, um, then we will bring out the legal guns. Okay. Thank you. Love you all. Catch ya. Bye-bye.